Is Supermarket Simulator too boring for you? Well, here's Shop Simulator. What's this called? I think it's just called Store Simulator. It's a demo. This is a demo for store. Oh, I have an hour time limit. There we go. Good morning. Today is a beautiful day for you. You completed the money market. Now go to the bank and withdraw your money. Movement. Running jump map. Gotcha. Shows your population level. Higher level brings more customers. Shows your hunger a hunger bar. Why did you put a hunger bar in a store simulator? I always do it. Go to the bank. You can see the location of the bank on your map. Map. There it is. Hello, default asset man. How you doing? A beautiful default town. I gotta buy some of these assets one of these days. One of these days, I'll make my own default assets game. Right, we have limited time. We have an hour in the demo, so we gotta... Gotta make it happen. Are you the bank? At the bank, you can make account transfers. Once you reach level two, if you have debt, you cannot move to the next level. Hmm. Hello, bankerman. Uh. Please transfer $10,000 to me. Thank you. Buy the market. You can find the real estate agent's shop on the map. So this is a little bit more in-depth so far than Supermarket Sim, but I have a feeling that... I don't know, I get, I get the feeling that this one's kind of thrown together to capitalize on the success of that one. But we'll see. Real estate. I'm very happy that you bought the market. I hope everything goes as you wish. Now you can go to the market and start working. I put a shelf in the market as a gift. Oh, thank you, a gift. Um, I guess it's that red building. Is it addictive as the supermarket simulator? We'll see. From the trailer, it looked basically the same. Maybe it's better, honestly. For customers who arrive, the market must be open. Employee must be hired. Products must be on the shelf. Take money for sold products from cash registers. Open the front door. Opens the market. Open the market by using the computer. When it gets dark, the market closes. In the morning, it'll come open the market. Okay. Get this garbage out of here. Get the zombie apocalypse rubble out of my marketplace. Change the name of the market? That's pretty good. Supermarket Simulator is still lacking that feature as of recording this. You can open and close, customize the market, place shelf, hire employees, check account details, and save the game. Okay. Current money, warehouse, truck. Basket amount opens basket. Quantity added to warehouse. All right, we gotta hire an employee. Complete the tasks. Close the market, is that my task? No, change the name of the market is my task. Improve, change market name, there we go. It's called. Obothor's General Goods. Of course. Now we gotta hire some Seagirds. Collect your reward from the bank. What the? The bank gave me money for that? If only. Yeah, so what do you do? Uh, I rename businesses. I just rename them. You know, sometimes a business's name isn't very good, so I just go ahead and take care of that for them. Now let's move some cash. Let's move some cash flow values. Can I buy the employee now? Apprentice. Price 50 a day. I guess I'll hire the apprentice. No, I gotta buy some goods. Cola? Ooh, cola. Buy cola. Energy drink? Oh my god, he can sell energy drinks. You can be caffeine man in this. Mobile game UI as well. That's how I know it's good. Okay, just beverages. We're, we're a beverage nation. There are 10 items in the case. Okay, let's do it. The shelves will stop in front of the door. You cannot place another order while the truck's on the road. To place boxes, you click on them. Place shelves. Interact with the shelves. Don't forget to close the door of the warehouse. Thieves can come steal your money overnight. I don't know. That's not good. Can I put these shelves? All I have is this right here. How do I move it? 
Can I move this? This is like the worst possible spot. <laughs> why, why is my employee wearing that? What are you wearing, employee? Yeah, I go to T High School. I work a shift after class. Come on out, delivery truck. Is this delivery truck? It is. Where did it go? Did it go on the shelf? Oh no, it auto- what the? It auto fills itself? It's kind of weird. So if I click on the shelf, it just goes over there by default. It's kind of- that's kind of bad, because what if I want to, like, arrange stuff? Maybe there's a shelf just for drinks. Maybe if I didn't buy just drinks, it would be different. Where's the Susu? Yeah, there's no Susu yet. No Susu to be seen. There is energy drinks, though. Which I don't have in Supermarket Simulator, either because I don't unlock them yet, or because they don't have them yet. One of those is true. Uh, can I hire a guy to unload the truck? Because I already hate unloading the truck. This this is already way worse than they just throw them on the middle of the road. That's funny to me. Alright, let's put it on the shelf. Place the shelf in the market and then arrange the products and the shelves. You can pick up the shelf by clicking on the shelf crate. Is it this? Is this the shelf crate? Oh, I could have I could put the boxes on this. Hang on. That's new. So how do I click on the shelf crate? Because there isn't one. I think it wants me to order a shelf and place it down. I think that's what it wants me to do here. Buy a shelf. Alright, shelf ordered. The important thing is, can I get on this and ride it? No, it flips around, Halim. What's with these sea girds fronting my shelves, making the store look good? What's with these sea girds stuck in the aisles? Products they have to front. I'll front the store. I don't care. Wait, that was the that was the box that contains the furniture. So he goes over here. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll put it next to that one. I guess. Can I not carry these? Can you not carry the stuff and put it on like that? Do you have to do it like this? Wow, this is a terrible UI for this. It's like the worst possible way I can think to do this. Yeah, just put it all on like a mobile game scrolling menu. Yeah, just do that, it's fine. Shelf full. Put it on this one then. It can't go on that one, only drinks can go on that. Alright, well the store is open. Come on in, customers. Sell product. Come on, population. Come on, don't you want a refreshing beverage? I think your son is working at my shop, good sir. Don't you want to support his place of bleasness? Are you my first customer? I believe he is. I right, look sharp. Hello, welcome to my humble shop. What? Oil? He wants oil? We don't have oil. We have these. This is what we have. Can you not move stuff? I think you can't move stuff after you place it down. Oh, you can. You hit E. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect. We'll box him in. There's no escape. No rice. People, I have drinks. This is a beverage company. I keep trying to run a beverage company in these games. But people want food. Right, let's buy some food, I guess. I suppose we'll cave to their demands. Can I even afford this? Yeah, I afforded it. Nice. Come on, truck. Come on, delivery man. Can you kill me? Nope. What do you want, anarchist punk? You want some monster? You want monster with a skull on the can? I don't support the corporate man. That's why I drink a monster energy. 
a subsidiary subsidiary of the Coca-Cola company. Because the can is edgy. Did the food go somewhere else or did it go into the cup stand? Wait, I need to bring the pallet. I keep forgetting to bring this. This is a huge innovation. Can you come on the truck? Oh, we can. That's huge. Then, eh? Oh, look at this. This is good. Supermarket simulator could add this. This is a good feature. I approve. Except the stacking is a little bit janky. Doesn't quite work. Unless you had to target the front of the box, yeah. Can we go higher? That's as high as it goes. Okay, fine. Put it down. Oh, look at that. I can carry a box and the pallet at the same time. Ooh. -hoo. Advanced strategies and techniques. Where are these going? It seems like they're just despawning. Are they going over there? Okay, they're going over there. All these NPCs have hunger meters of their own to worry about, yeah. I'm really doing a community service by filling the town's hunger bars up. Speaking of which, I gotta fill my hunger meter. I know this is just a pre-bought asset flip, and they just stapled on some store mechanics to it, but maybe, maybe remove the sprint stamina bar and the hunger bar at least. Maybe at least do the bare minimum to make it a game. I put put it on the shelf. Sell these products. We got so much inventory. We got bulger. All right, come buy it. Come buy my delicious goods and wares. Are you a food store? Who's the food store? How do I buy food? Oh, he sells iPads. Level two should be okay. I'm only level one, should be. What shops do we have? That was a phone store. Oh, we have the burger joint. Let me go to the burger joint. Work all day at the store, then go get a tasty, tasty hamburger. Oh, man. This is quite the depressing establishment you have. I'll take a green empty tray, if you don't mind. Eat it. Yay, thank you. Did the tray size expand? Oh, there's another tray overlaid on top of the existing tray. I don't like watching bulger streamers. Yeah, I hate it when streamers are bulger. I hate it when they just stream bulger words all day. Some may call this junk. Me, I call it dinner. Take a moped. Can I drive a moped? Maybe. I cannot drive the moped. So sad. Can I have the ice cream stand? Can I hire the ice cream stand to come stand inside my store? All right, shut it down. Don't let thieves come and get me. I've still only sold two product. Come on. Awesome. Buy my product now. Make a purchase. Come on, townsfolk. We've got limited time. We can move very fast, though. Although I shouldn't be strafe jumping. I apologize to everybody. There are people, a substantial amount of people, who try to watch these, like, store simulator streams or whatever, and they get motion sick from me jumping. And they're like, I want to watch this and enjoy this video, but I can't because you keep jumping. I'm sorry. When I, I, it just happens. It just happens instinctively. I just instinctively start bee hopping in a first-person game. I'll try to accommodate you, but I just do it subconsciously. Is there a musical simulator? There is Stray Gods. Yeah, exactly. Stray Gods is the role-playing musical. It's pretty good. Although I feel like the movement speed in this is pretty fast. This might induce the same effect that B-hopping does. Is the sun moving, or is it just a JPEG of a sun? Kind of looks like the JPEG of a sun, but it, it did say that it can become nighttime, so... Can I go to the coffee shop? Of course not. Business is booming. Yeah, look at that. Put more stuff on the shelf. Buy my pasta. Come and buy my pasta shelf. Bulger? Oh, that guy, oh, that guy loves Bulger. He's a Bulger fan. 
I'm sure he listens to music with lots of vulgarity in it. Still only sold six? I feel like I've sold more than six at this point. Is it sell, like it make a sale or sell products? Because he bought three things. Awesome. Yeah, she bought one thing. She bought mineral water. Gotta stay hydrated. Water break. Ah, delicious. Gotta love H2O. Hey, look, it's his twin brother. Did you want Bulger as well? Dude, everybody wants Bulger. I got some more Bulger in stock. Is Bulger the Susu of this game? Unfortunately, I only have $130 cash, which is not much. I spent the day's wages on a hamburger stand. Did he buy something? I think he did. I wish the bag was the name of my store. That'd be good. That'd be a good feature. Welcome to Obothor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a bulger, I'd sell it in a second. That's eight. Can he be number nine? Come on, what do you want? Cold coffee? Boo. Who wants cold coffee? We gotta get more foot traffic, because this is a bad location. There's so many, like, buildings around here, too. You would think being the only store in such a well-populated area. Actually, there is a burger store. I guess people can get their food fixed in the burger store. They can get a Coke and a burger. Biscuit? Ah, oh, no biscuits. It says General Goo, it does. Welcome to Obathor's General Goo. Oh, should we call those dot 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 things? Dot 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 Just watch White Run video. Thanks. Everybody please watch the White Run video. You know who wants you to watch the White Run video? Weezer, because Weezer's uh label is getting all the ad revenue from that one. I don't even know who they are. It got it got claimed by like fifty different record companies. I'm assuming one of them is Weezer's actual label, and some of them are copyright trolls. They claimed it? Yeah, of course they claimed it. Because it's their songs. It's, the cover songs get claimed. This this is not a shocking... I'm not like, oh, Drat, it got claimed. Like this, I knew this was going to happen. This is not some kind of a big blow. Cover songs get claimed, and when the claim is from like 50 different organizations, they all get to split the ad revenue. Which means there is seldom left... For the person who posted. Oh, well. Oh, drat. Isn't that right, Mr. Beardman? We need one more sale before the day is done. Can we get it? Let's get this sale. How much is it? There we go. He bought fruit juice. He didn't want cold coffee. Those things and beyond. There we go. That's a good name. I guess I'm running the ice cream stand too, because nobody's here. Can I just take this? They, they just leave the top off their thing? Oh my god. They're leaving a big old box of strawberry just baking in the sun all day. That can't be good. Did he just leave it on the ground? What the heck? He left his goods on the floor. What a jerk. There is an umbrella. Yeah, there's an umbrella, but the sun is still hitting it. The sun's still going right on that. That strawberry stand won't be in business for long. Reach level two. Your store increases as customers buy products. What? The, I'm not going to get to level two in this demo time. Are you kidding me? Are you seeing how far the meter has moved so far? It's moved like one-tenth of that bar is worth. Do Super Chats go to the claimers? No, Super Chats, as far as I know, Super Chats go to the actual channel that posted the video. As far as I'm aware.
YouTube, of course, takes their YouTube's cut, but I don't know what the YouTube's cut is. Because the first time I've gotten more than one Super Chat per year is the White Run video, so I don't really know how it all shakes out. I need more shelves. Do I, I don't have any money, though. Am I not making money from selling this stuff? Why do I have no money? The money's just been at 130 the whole time. I can't... How am I going to reinvest into my business? Can the bank give me more money? Did they go completing the quest to, like, make the bank give me more funding? No, I have nothing in the bank. Yeah, I, I can't... I can't make any money. The sales are not... Maybe I get the money at the end of the day. It, yeah, it did say take the money out of the drawer at the end of the day, but that is dumb. Cash register, take money. Yeah, okay, now I have some more money. Let's buy more products. Dude, shelves cost so much money. Ridiculous. Wait, can I not order a food shelf? Oh, I can. Now get rid of the beverage. We don't need the beverage. We need the food shelf. Not the food product. The food shelf. There we go. And now... When will it come? We will improve the interior. That sounds more fun. Billboard. 1500 bucks for a billboard? That's lame. It's too much. Can't afford that kind of stuff. Let's buy more food product. Let's buy a bulger. Not enough money. Okay, does bulger buy itself? Good news, everybody. We got some bulger. I meant to send a super chat during the premiere, but the app bugged out. There's a good chance I sent a deposit directly to YouTube. Yeah, it's possible. Oh no, it looks like the live chat glitched and you just sent five dollars directly to YouTube and the channel didn't get anything. Oh man, oh man, ah, uh, ah, uh, drat. Man, that really sucks. I'm sure Neil Mohan will get right on that one. Neil Mohan must think that like, live video and like live streaming isn't a big deal for YouTube. Because they don't care at all about how terrible YouTube streaming is. They just don't care. Perfect. See, we'll, we'll think, we'll make the customers think that we're a small mom and pop corner store. By just hiding the rest of the store. Well, this, this store is so small in here. It looked way bigger on the outside. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? That's so strange. That's why I gave the building its signature uh, brick pattern paint job. It, it fools the mind into thinking there's more space than there actually is. Can these customers stop trashing my store, please? Yeah, put it on the shelf. Look at my stocked wares. Check out my wares. Can I send you a small check along some cereal box tops? Yeah, give me some box tops. That's what box tops should do. They should be like, we're no longer box tops for education. We are box tops for content creators. Use your content creator code next time you buy Lucky Charms. Do they have? Do you guys have box tops in not USA? Is that a thing? Is box tops from cereal boxes a thing? Is it even still a thing in USA? I don't know. I haven't bought a children's cereal in a very long time. What's a box top? Set that's a no then. Thought you said Vox Pop. No, not the Vox Populi. The Founders and the Songbird. Got to hear from this false shepherd. We don't have it in Japan. Yes, it is. Okay, so someone has it. It's a way less thing in the U.S. now. Yeah, so it's, it's probably a way less thing because of, like, health standards. What Box Tops was, or I guess probably still was, but what Box Tops was, 
There's no current box top on my current box of life. That sucks. What box tops was is cereal companies that just sell raw sugar with a fun cartoon character to children. Realized I needed like a PR campaign to make because people were that people were like maybe we uh, maybe we shouldn't give our kids any of this ever. Maybe this is actually like the worst possible food they could eat. And so the cereal company is like, ah, crap, we need PR. So they made a thing called box tops where on the top of your cereal box, there's a little like stamp. And if you cut the stamp out with scissors and then you bring it into your classroom and then over the course of like a month or two, your entire class brings in all their box tops. Then you pile them all together. Then the school piles them all together and then sends them to like Kellogg's. And then Kellogg's for every box top they get, the school gets like a grant of like 10 cents or something ridiculous like that. Like for every like for every box top that you mail, Kellogg's will make a donation to your school of like 25 cents. And so that's what box tops were slash are. I guess they still exist. Box tops are digital now. Oh, that sucks. That's so sucks, dude. QR code box tops. That's so lame. Cause it used to be so fun because there'd be uh, there'd be like days in class like box top day like twice a year was box top day and the teacher would be like okay I know normally we do spelling the spelling class right now but today we're gonna dump all the box tops on the floor and count them woo it was like yeah we counted the box tops and we mailed them in and the school got like 300 bucks I remember one time from an entire year of box tops my school bought like one bleachers rack like just just one rack seats like like 40 people all squeezed in so you know it was something they, they apparently it was enough to buy a bleacher so it's not bad one box of pens yeah the last time i bought a cereal they still had a vinyl record in the box man last time i bought a cereal they still had a cd rom of checks quest Okay, the store is closed for the day. So now it's time to go home to the home. Is the burger shop still open? Can I still go to Burger Town? Because I am hungry. Well, lots of people walking around or not walking around. Lots of people wandering in place late at night. The burger store is this way. This is not a very navigatable town. You know what? I worked hard today. Give me the burger and the cola. Yeah. My hunger fulfilled. Now, where is my house again? Isn't this my house? Are you my house? You're the bank. The house is over here. Yeah, Chex Quest, you're right, was a godsend. Because it was Doom, if you weren't allowed to play Doom. If your parents are like, maybe don't, I don't want you to play that game where you uh, shoot the demon with the gun. Don't do it. But mom, it's so cool. Nah, but I, I think you're like two. I don't think you should be playing that. Chex Quest was like, dude, it's the same game, but it's got cereal in it instead. Now they won't know. It's perfect. Uh, back to my extremely shiny building. The reason my business is so unsuccessful is because I spend most of the time just polishing my home. Got to polish those floorboards. Okay, this is an interesting icon for sleeping. My friend's school, the staff got caught buying pallets of expired cereal to farm box tops because funding was bad. Honestly, it's a good strat. It's a valid strat back in the box top days. Okay, you ready for some more business? We got 30 minutes to reach level two. You think we'll do it? You think we'll reach level two? So what I what I think about this one is that it's a ripoff of Supermarket Sim, obviously, which Supermarket Sim, you know, is not even that original of a concept, but not being able to stock the shelf that I mean, that's the whole game. 
in supermarket sim once once you're at the point in supermarket sim where the shelves like stock themselves and you have cashiers you've been playing for like 10 to 15 hours and you're ready to move on and you're like ready to keep, like uh, expand and take on more of like a managerial like keeping items in stock type role if you cut out the cashier gameplay and the shelf stocking gameplay then there's no game and don't don't tell me this counts don't tell me clicking on the shelf and like scrolling through the iPad menu and hitting place on shelf. That does not count. That does not count as the, the satisfying taking item out of cardboard box sound that Supermarket Simulator has. It's kind of like a why bother game, you know? Like, why bother? Why bother with this one? I will be playing it until the demo goes down, though. Gotta get my play time's worth. Let's see if we can manufacture some fun. Here we go. This, this is the challenge. We have $18. How many dollars do we have? We have $384 and 28 minutes to try to manufacture some fun in this game. How can we do that? How can I manufacture some fun? What if I try to make a maze? What if I make the... Oh, we can make a diagonal? Hang on. That's huge. Welcome to the ramshackle store. Put it all the way in the corner, yeah. Those products are hiding back there, shamefully. Okay, that was kind of fun. That was like a minute of fun. Just need 28 more of those and we're in business and the game is good. So they don't even walk over to the shelf. Well, he didn't because the item was out of stock. Let's see. If a customer who wants an item, do they have to go to the shelf to grab it or just walk up and buy it? Can we find a thief? Oh, yeah, it's true. There is thieves. It did warn me of thieves. But will there actually be a Brynjolf that spawns in? Or will I just get a notification that says, Thieves took your money. Which one will it do? Yeah, I think that the customers don't even walk up to the shelf. I think they just automatically spawn it in their bag, then leave. Why is it not no oil. Everyone wants oil. I'm not an oil store. I'm an Obothor General Goo store. We got goo. We got goo generally. That's about it. And then a hockey puck. Yeah, then a hockey puck can come out of nowhere and break your glizzies. It's perfect. Great idea for a game. Oh, no, he's going to the shelf. Okay, they do have to go to the shelf. But he's littering. He littered in my store. To be honest, oil is a canonical goo example. Yeah, that is true. Oil is considered goo. Like, if somebody asked me, is oil a goo? I'd be like, yeah, it can be gooey. Thieves are hard to spot. They carry a giant sack over their shoulder and prance like that Majora's Mask guy. Mm -hmm. They carry a giant cartoon dollar sign money bag. What do you want? Oil? Everyone wants oil, dude. I gotta buy some oil. What does this game take place in the United States? <laughs> Get it? Because of oil? It's very funny, I know. Nope, that's the shelf button. I want the oil button. Where's the oil button? Is it in other products? They got Doritos. You can sell laptops? What? Why would you sell laptops? I guess Walmart does sell laptops. It's true. If you're some kind of a psychopath, you can buy a laptop from Walmart. Thank you. This is accurate. Who's got oil? There's oil. Give me two oils. Everybody always wants the oil. I gotta get more oil. What's your favorite Modern Warfare mission? Mine is all oiled up. Very shiny in here, too. Very specular game. This game's got no roughness. It's got no grit. 
Dude, why did they just, they just drink the food and then just leave it on the floor? They just trash it? How rude. Rude customers. I went to buy a Walmart gaming PC and some Beats headphones. Yeah, I guess they sell Beats there. I don't know. They sell like a uh, consumer level electronics that aren't Apple. Like I don't think I don't think Walmart has iPhones. I don't think I've seen iPhones in Walmart. iPhone accessories, yeah. They don't have a big phone selection, but phone accessories they have. Beats by Bo, yeah. Need some beats to better listen to the Bo Show. You know, Walmart has, or I should say had, because I haven't seen it in months, which is very disappointing, because I was going to try to collect them all. Walmart had a gaming magazine. It was just, like, on the floor in the Nintendo section. Like, right next to the Mario Kart. It was, like, Walmart Gaming Magazine, and it was just, like, a little 10-page leaflet, and all it was was just, like, advertisements for upcoming games. Like, it was nothing. Like, it, it was literally just, like, every single page is, like, the new Call of Duty is coming out. The new Battlefield is coming out. The new Kirby is coming out. But it was funny because it's, it had, like, it had a picture of, like, a, like, Kratos God of War was on the cover. And then it said Walmart to overtop Kratos. And it was, like, in this issue, exclusive look at God of War's explosive combat. And it was funny that the Walmart logo was on that. And I haven't seen it in a long time. So they may have discontinued it because it's kind of pointless to make. Or maybe the Walmart near me just does not have that anymore. Maybe I was the only one who ever grabbed one. And it was free, too. The Walmart Gaming Magazine, it had a little crappy sign that said free to take. Which I guess all the employees knew about, because it would be very interesting if I was stopped at the store when leaving. And they checked the receipt. Well, you didn't pay for that magazine. they would be like, oh, it's a free magazine. They'd be like, what? You didn't pay for it. It's not on your receipt. No, no, no. It's the, it's the Walmart Gaming Monthly. It's free. There's a little post-it note sign that says free to take. Sir, we're going to have to ask you to come with me. You're under arrest for trying to apprehend with Walmart property. You can get a lifetime, not lifetime, like a year's a subscription to Game Informer for like 20 bucks now. Game Informer is doing their like last ditch effort to still exist. So, they're making the price of a, like, year subscription to the Print Game Informer extremely cheap. It's pretty good, you know, Game Informer is okay. Game Informer does have access to developers that, like, YouTube guy usually can't get. But also, Game Informer, like, isn't really that hard-hitting journalism type stuff. It's mostly just like, we interviewed the maker of the new game about why the new game will be so awesome. Be sure to pre-order it today. And all the terrible ads, yeah. Ads for a D blob too. But there was uh, there's some good stuff in Game Informer. It's just not that much. much Have a pile of old Game Informers. Yeah, I got a pile of old Game Informers too. R.I.P. Walmart Gaming. You would have loved the dull one. Oh, that'd be the ultimate artifact. The ultimate artifact would be a Walmart gaming magazine that advertises Dolman. That would be the greatest. I don't think Dolman made that big of a splash, though. Okay, actually, our level bar is increasing pretty well. It's not going that poorly. We need more customers, though. We got no customers. We got no foot traffic. Can I, uh, comment? Shopping here is like forgetting something every time. The products are fresh and high quality. Baruda, Alice, Veras, Yumpak, Sadasi, Itzchim, Olarin, Almak, Degil, Inni, Zamanda, Kifili, Beer, Ektinluk. I apologize to whatever language that was. That was not good. This is not a market. It's like a joke. That's Turkish? Okay, sorry, Turkish. Accounting. 
employee. Online store. Add product to your website. Approve orders. The approved product appears in the warehouse. Oh, so you can run Amazon as well. You can run Amazon from your store. I want to improve the interior. The interior sucks. Why are billboards so much money? Let's see. The red wall, green wall, blue wall. That's it. Those are the only wall options I have. How about floor? Hardwood, tile, diagonal tile. You lost all respect from Turkey you had from playing that one game? No, I didn't. I, I gained respect. Are you kidding me? I played the, the Turkey propaganda game. That was a great game. What was that called? I forgot what that was called. I think it was called like Future Soldier of Future or something, something like that. Where the first 10 minutes is just a propaganda video about how great Turkey was. That was awesome. So, yeah, Soldier of the Universe. Yeah, that's what it was called. Something with universe in the title. Because I thought only America made that. I thought, well, I know China has one. China has an America's Army knockoff. And, like, obviously I want to play that, but I don't know if I want to install that. I don't know if I want to install the Chinese military game on my computer. And also I can't find a good download for it. So I was like, yeah, USA has an America's Army, of course. China has an America's Army, of course. That that developer probably wishes they were the Turkey America's Army, but they're not. I don't think, uh, I don't think Turkey wants to be involved in that game. That game wasn't too good. Maybe they were going for a grant. Maybe that was like a demo. They showed that demo to the government. And they're like, if you give us a million dollars, we can make an even better version of this. Use a virtual machine? Yeah, but at that point, how much effort are we going through here? Use an external hard drive as home directory? Yeah, I, I know there's ways to do it. But like I said, I haven't found a good download yet. And also, it's like, eh. It's probably not the greatest idea, honestly. I'm sure it will be basically fine, but you know. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Crap. I'm sorry. I started bee hopping. Diagonal bee hopping is so addicting when you go so fast. When speed is the name of the game, accept no substitutes. The store actually is going to hit level two before the demo ends, which is crazy. It didn't seem possible, and yet here we are. Truly, we have done great things. T man, we did it together. If you have a TikTok account, China is already tracking you. I don't think I have one. I think Oboe Shoes Games account exists on TikTok. I don't think it's me either. I think somebody took it, and I was like, "Well, I don't care. As long as no, as long as they're not gonna like post videos on there pretending to be me, I don't actually care." The only Oboe Shoes Games content that I've seen on TikTok is just like some channel called like Games Recap. Cut my Dishonored Story Recap videos into like 60 second abominations with horrible editing. And the channel description is the Dishonored 2 logo and it's like, new game recaps every day, subscribe for more, and they haven't posted in like two years. So their plan was, aha, I will clip Oboe Shoes Games recaps put terrible TikTok subtitles on them, not understand basic editing and post them, and say it's my game's recap channel, and then I'll pop off, and like, they got three views. And they were like, hmm, didn't work, and they just gave up immediately. So sad. Anyways, follow me on Oboe Shoes Games 1 on TikTok, mm-hmm. You don't have to have an account to just have the app downloaded. I don't have the app downloaded. You think I downloaded TikTok once in my life? I haven't done that yet. I probably will at some point, but I haven't yet. If someone's going to track me, I want it to be a gosh dang patriotic USA YouTube Google website. I want Meta to track me, not TikTok. That's the end of the world right there. 
I do have some uh, ideas though for shorts that I do want to make. And if you're making, here's the thing, if you're making shorts, you might as well put them on TikTok too, because they'll probably do way better on TikTok. Like you, you might as well just do it. So I may have to bite the bullet and make a oboe talk for my upcoming shorts project, which I don't know when it's gonna launch. It might take a while to get all set up, but I had some, it's, it's fun. It's just some fun videos I wanna make. Last time I revealed the details of an upcoming project, said project took six months to complete, and every day people would ask me when it's done. So no details will be revealed at this time. Just be sure to subscribe to Oboe Shoes Gaming 1 on TikTok. It's fine, I'll use my Neuralink in incognito mode. There you go, they can't track it then. Look how incognito mode when you open it up. It's like, no, this does not do what you think it does. This is the splash screen of incognito mode. Shut up, incognito mode, I know what I'm doing. Get out of here. Why do I need a VPN when I just have incognito mode? It does the same thing for free, pretty much, right? I hear a stomach growling? Oh, it's my stomach growling. I'm dying. Oh, I ran out of beverages. Nice. Our sock has been sold. I'm selling? I'm selling? I'm buying? I right, gotta get to the burger store. Oh, I can't sprint. My health wasn't regen because I'm hungry. Oh, man. That's brutal. That is a game mechanic, just not one I would expect to see in this. I torrented using incognito mode, but Disney still sent me a letter. I know, right? I torrented Ace Combat PSP, and they sent us a letter. Like, come on, really? You're really up in arms over Ace Combat PSP? Now that I have my burger in my stomach, I can sprint all the live long day. All right, 12 minutes left, come on. Buy some drinks. Stop littering. Stop leaving oversized novelty cans. Those, those are the cans that like Funko Sodas come in. Funko Soda is Funko Pop's loot crate. But instead of like a plastic bag, they're like, we'll make it fun. And they come in like a soda can and you gotta like open the soda can and see what's inside your Funko soda. So you can do that. That's an option that we all have. I gotta order more goods. There it is. We're almost out of liquids. We gotta get some more liquids going. Congratulations, you leveled up. Don't forget to claim your reward from the bank at the new level. Nice. Get a tablet. Ooh, a tablet. Just when the game's getting spicy, though, it's gonna kick me out. It's gonna kick me out of my realm. Unless I pony up the cash to continue. Which I probably won't do. What do you think, banker man with no lighting? Should I stick to Supermarket Simulator on this one? I feel like I already have the superior game. This, this one was worth a, worth looking at, you know. Just, just to see how it is. Could it be a quality rival? Not really. Doesn't have a checking out customers mechanic. Or like fun shelf stocking mechanic. Oh yeah, I have an order. I torrented Hearthfire, and at some point, it just said I owned it on Steam. Nice. Somewhere in the mess that is Bethesda game files. Like, yeah, this guy has it, whatever. These days, everybody probably officially owns all the Skyrim DLCs, though, because, like, every one second Skyrim Ultimate Pack is on sale for three cents. does have hand truck gameplay. It does have hand truck gameplay, but it's not that good. The problem with the hand truck is this. 
There's no sound. Where, where's the rolling sound? I mean, imagine if the hand truck made a different rolling sound depending on what surface you were on and if it had momentum. The guy kind of has momentum. Like, your character kind of has momentum, but the truck does not. If the hand truck had momentum, like, if I could unload stuff from the truck and then be like, oh, like, let go and push it into the warehouse and it made a cool, like, rolling on cobblestone sound, that would be good. But as is, it kind of just sucks. I torn to Dragon Age Origins. My computer immediately blue screened and died. Uh oh. Lesson learned. Get better pirate websites next time. More garbage on the floor. Thanks for nothing, customers. Only nine minutes left. Get a tablet so you can see tablet store on the map. How much do tablets cost? Is the tablet going to be prohibitively expensive? Only $250? Dude, tablets are cheap these days. I forgot tablets are so cheap now. Press the T key. Using the tablet, open and close whenever you want. Place the order and unlock special abilities. You have completed all tasks. You can live in the market simulator world as you wish. You can expand... I thought that was my guy breathing. I thought he was going... <gasps> you earn a reward at each new level. Go to the bank and claim your level. So this is the loop. Oh, you can just buy food from the iPad. What? Oh, it comes to the table in the warehouse. Okay, what's the ability? Hunger, resistance, thief protection? I mean, the only thing left to do is try to see what the thieves do. Like, to see if the thieves guild will come steal my goods. I guess we'll just do that as a joke. If the day ends in time. I love that little black box with text that flashes for half a second when I torrent a game. That's, that's a fun little box. I notice all the mainstream games you buy from Steam don't have that. I always love seeing a nice little command prompt pop up and close. It's good stuff. What was the last game? What was the last game I did that with? It was something for the channel. I think, I think the last game that I pirated... I mean, I would never pirate a game. But I think the last game that I obtained a ROM for was Bionicle Matoran Adventures. And that's that's not even... That's okay, though. Because the LEGO group told the Biomedia Project they're allowed to host those. They got permission from LEGO to host the games. So that's not even pirating. What I did isn't even elite. I, it probably is, because probably like the publisher, probably like THQ or whatever, owns the license to Bionicle on Game Boy. But, like, Biomedia hosts the ROMs, and LEGO was like, we don't care. So that doesn't count. Hmm. Darkest of Days? Now, Darkest of Days was years ago. There's gotta be something more recent. Hmm. Why can't I remember the last game that I downloaded? Did I not download one recently? If I just go on my channel and scroll through, I'll find one, I'm sure. Uh, like itch.io games, maybe? But those, those aren't stealing, those are just posted for free. Man, it's really tough to find evidence of myself committing a crime. I thought this would be way easier. Was it a Switch game? Oh, there we go. You. There you go. Oh, I forgot about those. I forgot about that entire company. Yeah, okay, we got it. It was the Switch game. You know the Switch game? It was that one. There it is. There he is, officer. Put him in cuffs. Lock him up. Look, I bought a Wii U when it came out, so... I feel like I'm entitled to playing Nintendo games at 60 FPS if I want to. In their darkest moment, I was there, buying a Wii U that had Nintendo Land and no other games.
And I bought the stupid Mario Kart before it was Mario Kart 8 Super Deluxe and came with all the cool content. I bought it when it was just a base game on Wii U. I've been there for them, but they haven't been there for me. All right, come on, thieves. Where's thieves? I want to see Thief rob my register. Someone tried to tell me Wii U is not an awful console. No, Wii U. All the games for Wii U are good. As evidenced by the fact that it has resold them on Switch. It was just the marketing. The marketing for Wii U did not work. Because people were like, is it just a is it a controller for the Wii? It's like, no, it's a new system. What? But it plays Wii games, right? Yeah. And it basically is a Wii, right? Yeah, but also you can play this tablet thing. I honestly think Wii U was more of a marketing disaster than it was, like, a game disaster. Because all the Wii U exclusive games are good. It's just, like, you see the Wii U and you're like, what, what am I looking at? Nintendo Switch basically is Wii U, but you can't do any of the fun uh, Nintendo Land minigames. You, you can't use a tablet and the computer computer and the TV at the same time. Like, we, like, the Switch is very similar to Wii U, except it made it, like, better, obviously. They're like, what if you didn't need a console at all? What if the tablet was just the whole system? Which I don't know if that technology was there when Wii U came out. But Wii U, you know, it had it had something. It had something going for it. It just wasn't good. I, I wouldn't say it's a bad console. Again, I did buy one when it came out, so maybe I'm coping. Maybe I'm, a, maybe I'm a little bit mad when all the Wii U games that I bought come out on Switch for $70 and run way better and have more content. Maybe maybe it's a little bit annoying. Just a tad. Anyways, a new Switch will be called the new Switch. Mm -hmm. They should just call it Switch 2. Everyone's calling it Switch 2 like a... Uh, as a joke. Everyone's like, yeah, the Switch 2. It's like the... Not the internal. It's like the external code name. Like people are just referring to Switch 2 as Switch 2. They might as well just call it that. Or maybe they'll maybe they'll call it like the Nintendo Action or something like that. Maybe they're afraid of Wii U. Switch to U. Yeah, call it Switch to U. They might be afraid of like another Wii U situation and call it something completely different. They'll call it the Nintendo Yuzu. Yeah, the Nintendo Yuzu. That's why they sued Yuzu, not because of the emulators, because their next console was called Yuzu. And they're like, oh crap, these guys have the name. We gotta lock down our own name. Well, Market Simulator, it's been fun waxing poetic about Wii U. And I don't think thieves are coming. There is money in the drawer. I don't think the thieving mechanic is implemented, really. Let's at least live to see day three. I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs. I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. Why did I choose this color for walls in my house? Who's this big of fan of sea foam? Like, it's okay. Maybe like one room. The whole place, though? Is that tile at the bottom of the toilet? No, it does have water, okay. I thought the toilet bowl led straight to the... There's no weapons. There's no weapons. You can't interact with it at all. Oh my god, that, that would have saved it. They could have saved their entire game. If I was able to hit that piano. All I can do is eat an entire cheese wheel. You sleep soundly for a gouger. Thirty seconds left. Killjoy Outlaw 3, thank you for subscribing. Killjoy Outlaw 3 says Fortnite. Fortnite is better than this. It's true. Well, Asset Pack Town, it was nice visiting you again. Always nice to visit Asset Pack Town. Asset Pack Town is kind of like Woohoo Island, you know? It's kind of like the Wii Sports Resort of the indie game landscape. Always nice to stop by. See what configuration the old tile sets got itself into this time, and demo done. Thank you for playing the demo. Buy the game. Can I just play it again? Is it going to stop me? It's not going to stop me. Okay, good. Good morning. 
You can just play the little intro forever if you want. I don't want to do that, but let it be known you could. All they have to do is add a gun and let me shoot the piano and make the piano go bling and I will give it a positive review. It looks like the keys are blurry. It looks like the keys are in the process of being motion blurred. That's a little bit strange, but who cares?